Hello everyone, my name is Pacha and welcome back to the next episode of Raven Creek and we continue with the next animal of the new Twilight pack that was released when you were, yeah, at the time of the recording was released just a week ago and as you maybe have guessed from the thumbnail today we are building for the striped skunk another yeah I have to say a surprise addition to this pack and I think one an animal we didn't really expect it to be added to this game um, but I don't know if I have said it in the last episodes but these animals all of them are really nice filler animals so not your big ticket animal that your, your elephant or lion but they are nice filler animals you have between the more interesting animals that still have an important role in the zoo to just yeah to just teach you about these smaller ones these less popular animals and i guess for most us um, uh, us american um, people these animals are just your day-to-day -day animals that you see in your backyards you see in your uh, neighboring woods and anything like that and for europeans uh, so for people like me these animals are a little bit more exotic as we don't have skunks here in the old world so to say um, same for wombats. Raccoons are a bit more common um, since they have been brought into Europe for fur farms and anything and stuff like that. But even they are still uh, somewhat exotic um, as they are not really common and they will become less common in the following years but I talked about that already in my previous videos. But yeah, we are having the striped skunk in front of our backstage indoor area for our uh, fellow deers here in the background one of our first one of the first animals you see when you enter a raven creek and i was a little bit um yeah i wasn't a little bit worried about the placement of this habitat because i had the feeling it would feel too um too packed too too crowded if you have another habitat here because we are close to the forest area with the reindeers, the wolves, the bears here and also later the raccoons in, um, in the later state of this park and I felt like maybe it's too much animals in one place, um, too less room to breathe but I really wanted to include it here. Um, I also thought about other, place and other places and I didn't really found anyone where it felt good and I really liked the yeah, the panorama of the skunk habitat here and we have the, this block cabin in the background of it um, which is something I saw in a lot of uh, real life skunk habitats where you have the habitat and then you have some sort of log cabin or little hut in the background so kind of like to set the theme of it being yeah, a, a animal that is close to um, to human civilization and is often found in backyards or near uh, human settlements. So I decided on this little spot where we didn't have anything anyway, and decided to make this little uh, yeah, this little habitat, really small habitat, because these animals are really small, uh, smaller than I imagined. I've when I, as I said, I never saw a, a skunk here in Europe, but. Um, when I saw them in game, I f I was really surprised how small they actually are. So um, I made this little habitat and also made this little hut here. There will not be an indoor area for the skunks per se, and um, so I had this little hut, this little log hut, for them to sleep during the day or to get a rest. Um, they can actually enter it. They just don't do it because uh, again, Final Zoo hitboxes are weird. Um, but they can go. They are able to go inside and I often saw when I looked at uh, reference material online um, apart from uh, how the general layout of, of the habitat should be I often saw these little huts or little dog houses basically also for these animals to sleep in during the day and I was surprised maybe it's more of an American thing so let me know in the comments if you more know about this but I often saw um, skunk habitats that were caged up, like uh, basically like aviaries that had caged their yeah, high um, mesh walls and a roof on top of them, uh, which is, was really surprising for me as I would never imagine them to be that dangerous because it feel, felt almost dangerous for me um, to have, uh, so that the need would be there to have like a caged enclosure for them. 
Um, for Raccoon, I would understand that they can climb out, but for Skunk, uh, I was not sure. Maybe something you know more about and you can maybe tell me in the comments down below why they are often in zoos, like in caged uh, environments and not in open habitat. But I decided um, we go for an open habitat also because it, it, feel, it feels more yeah, friendly and open and just in general feels better to have them in an open environment, not in a caged one. And yeah, we are also using a few of the new pieces from the Twilight pack, like you saw the wall set that I used here, which is new from this pack and I really love it because you have this uh, mortar in between the stones, which if you uh, color it green, it almost looks like moss, which is perfectly fitting for Raven Creek. And also the new wood pieces that I have on top, uh, like for where you can you rest your arms on are really cool because they are a little bit more weathered. They don't look too shiny and clean and this is what I really like. Some more weathered wood, which is really cool. Um, I also decided to go not for pine trees this time as I have in almost all my uh, habitats here and all my, um, yeah, in general in all the places, but for these uh, sugar maple pine, sugar maple trees, I think they are. Um, just, I just choose them because then I could use the new leaf clutter decals that we got with the pack which you will see later here uh, because I really like them. I still a little bit sad that we can't recolor them so we can only use them, f use them for like an autumn feeling not like in general for yeah falling, le falling leaves on the ground. I also would love if we have had would have more var variants like pine like pines as I call uh, pine needles I think or um, even tropical ones like um, palm leaves in the end, we, we got these autumn brown and orange leaves, and I, it's fine. For my zoo, it fits, um, as I said, as I'm more said in America, and in these woods that I'm building in, it, it also fits that we have these tree, uh, these fallen leaves. It's just very specific for a time of the year. You wouldn't normally have these yeah, leaves, leaves all year round, just in the autumn, in the fall. But um, for these trees, for the sugar pine, sugar maple tree, <laughs> this is the name, um, it fits very well. And yeah, um, I also wanted to have it really green, um, less yeah, trampled down grass and plants, but more grass, more plants all around. Because these animals are small, they don't have much weight to it. So uh, having more grass only feels natural. And, and from what I saw from reference, on online I also saw they are very heavily grassed um, I also added more grass and more foliage later after I st uh, stopped recording just to give it a more yeah, overgrown feel but in the end it's a very simple habitat you always you can also see that from the time from the time of this video how long this video is that this is not a very big build so um, it takes not much time to build this uh, at least for me and but and it, it still feels nice and and I have to say after I finished this build it fits very well in this corner of the zoo it's like a habitat you go by on the way to another to a more exciting habitat baby but you give it still give it a look and th that is what it is what it has to do in the end and as I said uh, there is no indoor area for these animals which is still needed because they don't hibernate during the winter so we would have we would need something to um, bring them in if it's getting really cold. Um, and this, there is no indoor area um, for two re two reasons. One, there is it is simply not enough space for them. Uh, I think I would have gotten some space here, but I st just want, don't want it to um, yeah, block the view of the log cabin behind it. And second, I have already planned for an indoor area for them, which will be the links indoor area that is not far away from here. There's actually also a path to the links in a uh, backstage area um, right at the opposite side of this habitat. And um, when I'm yeah, done with this and also with the raccoon habitat, I will go back to the links uh, habitat um, and finish the backstage area, which I haven't done in the links episode as you might remember. And I will add um, indoor areas for the skunk as well for the raccoons in the in, in the links um, indoor areas, uh, of course separated, not in one. Otherwise, they would kill each other. I think, but um, I will add some indoor areas for them also there. And maybe if I record it, I hope I record it. I will show it, and then in the winter we can bring them over 
because they can get really friendly. I, in fact, I think it's also allowed in certain uh, countries to ha have them as pets. Um, I know in Great Britain you are allowed to have them as pets and you are not allowed to remove their scent glands. Um, but yeah, they can be, they can get pretty um, comfort comfortable with humans, which I think is cool. They are like, yeah, like small dogs <laughs> if, 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 if treated well. But yeah, um, not much to say about this habitat further because it's, yeah, as I said, it's really not that much done there. I will leave you to the, uh, until the rest of this episode, will really leave you to some music and then I see you in the real time part at the end. So yeah, enjoy the music and I see you in the end. Alright, here we are now in the real time part and we are standing basically in front or in the entrance of our forest area. Um, yeah, this will become, the f in a future episode, this will become the raccoon habitat, but we are not there yet. There is the rain, there are the reindeers, there are the wolves and here are, is the fellow deer habitat and if we follow this path here, which as soon as at the moment has no real destination, but we'll, I, I'm sure we'll get one in the future. We are getting to this little skunk habitat. Yeah, um, I really love how it turned out. I feel it is really lush enough for these little, yeah, for these little creatures. There is one. I think the other one just entered the burrow that I added because they re refuse uh, to go into their little shelter here. They have enough space, um, but they just don't do it. Despite this being <laughs> at least they are double the size of what they would need in real life. But yeah, I added some signs. Um, I forgot these when I recorded, but I added them now to so, so a little bit information about them. But yeah, this is really simple. I still love the lock cabin in the background. I think it really fits. Uh, my original plan was to have them on this side with the reindeers in the background. But I feel then felt then it was too close also to the raccoons will be here. The red radius will be here and it would be just three species of animals in one space basically visible from one viewing area or viewing place. And then I have them here. There isn't much an, uh, here anyway. The, uh, yeah, the deers are a little bit further in the background and this place is basically fitting better for them. Um, <laughs> I really love them. They are really an underdog and they have a lot of cool animations. Apparently there is animation where they spray their scent or whatever it is. I haven't seen it yet. Maybe I'm getting get lucky in the future, but they are really cute. They are really cute. They make cute noises and I really love how it turned out. Yeah, um, not much else to say about it. Um, I blocked off the path uh, theoretically only so that only guests can end, uh, no, that only staff can enter here and guests aren't allowed. So you, I even, you would avoid cross viewing you would only see the staff going through here to check on the animals, but not the guests. The same on the other side. Some nature, so we have some big trees that cast a little bit of shadow here. St we are still in the forest, so it shouldn't be too 
awesome. too much sunlight and I really like when I turn the time again yeah I really like this time where the sun is just hitting this little shelter in the middle and everything around is rather more in the shadows which is really cool um, I, I don't know why but it sets it back every time I load into the game but yeah it is really cool I really like this little corner I hope you like it as well um, Give a like to the video <laughs> if you if you like the habitat. No, uh, so, uh, everything right. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to stress this any further or yeah, expand it any further because there's not much really to say about it. If you like the video, yeah, maybe consider giving it a like. Um, and if you feel especially happy today, maybe even consider joining or yeah, um, subscribing to the channel. We reached the 500 subscribers after the last video, so huge thanks to that. Um, it's really cool to see you guys enjoying this content that I make and I hope more people will join us in the future and they are um, road to 1000 basically but yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm I hope you see I see you in the next one next week and until then stay safe have a great time enjoy building for the new animals and I see you in the next in the next video so bye bye everyone have a great time